Today, we are going to talk about the third temple. We know the temple we come from heaven is not going to be built by men. But why today we hear people talk about the third temple that's going to be built by men? A while back, yes, I knew the temple was about to be built, but I did not take it seriously because I was thinking, all right, it's too far. It was a fantasy. It was a joke. Until two, three days ago, I learned to the website of the third temple, the third temple.org. Here is what's going on. Let's see. As you can see, this is the website of the third temple. So they have all the departments, legal, architecture, politics, construction, education, and media. So you can check what they're trying to do. This is the homepage where you can see how the temple will look like. They tell you everything. And here you see the members today. 575,600 and counting. These are the people who believe the temple will be built by men. They also show you where they come from all across the world, where they are. And of course, they show you all the plans they have with regard to rebuild the temple, the third temple. So now, what does this tell us? This tells us it's not a joke. They have a goal, they have a plan, they are going to rebuild the third temple. We know the temple, the third temple, should come from heaven and the Christ as king. So now, if they are going to rebuild the temple, who is going to be in this temple as king? Is it going to be Christ or the Antichrist? You decide. We know the scripture tells us the temple, the final temple, will not be built by men, but instead will come from heaven. So the question is, why this contradiction? Does the Bible lie or this is the lie? So how come people decide, sit down and decide to build the third temple knowing the scripture is clear where the third temple will come from and who is going to be king in that temple? You know, we know if the temple is going to be built by men, the king will be the Antichrist. For fact, we know this. So if you do not know that, don't fall for this because this is a lie, even though it may look too good. Here, good, this is not a plan of God. This is a plan of man. And the number of man, it's 666, the Antichrist. You are warned. If you happen to fall for this, it's on you. Thank you very much for watching. May God bless you. Sharon, Sharon, Sharon.